Good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike, KD2KOG, part of the technical support staff at SDR Play. Quick video, let's go over virtual audio cables and let's do it in a, in a basics video. Uh, I'm aware of two options for the Windows platform that allow you to use virtual audio cables. It's VB Cable, uh, which has uh, a few different editions. I recommend the VB Cable Hi-Fi edition. And there's the Virtual Audio Cable by uh, Musichenko. Let me show you both of these screens for both options. Let's go over the free slash donationware VB Cable Hi-Fi first. Uh, within VB vb-audio.com just go to slash cables scroll down and select the hi-fi cable which is right over here the installer is over here you can click download and basically it's a a very easy setup you just double click on the executable it installs and you need to set the audio bandwidth for the hi-fi cable the audio bandwidth options are within your control panel. So if you go to your control panel, you go to sound, you double click the Hi-Fi cable input, go to advanced, you would set it to 100, uh, I'm sorry, 192,000. You do that on the playback and you do that also for the recording option. And let's just verify that I have that set. And it's basically set it and forget it. You would set your output in SCR Uno and your input in your uh, decoding application. You also have the option, I received the question of how do I monitor the virtual audio cable through my PC speakers? And you can do that with either VB Cable Hi-Fi or Virtual Audio Cable. You have to go into your control panel, which I'll slide this over and do here. Click on sound. select recording, select VB Cable Hi-Fi, select listen, check off listen to this device, and redirect the audio to your primary sound card. And in my case, it's a Steinberg UR22 MK2. So anything that's passed over the virtual audio cable will also be passed onto my sound cards. This way I can hear the decoded audio. All right, let's close that out. Let's say if, uh, as I said, there's there's two applications. There's the VB Cable Hi-Fi and the Virtual Audio Cable. The differences between the two are the number of, of pairs that you can create. Uh, VB Cable Hi-Fi or VB Cable only allows a single input output. Virtual Audio Cable, let's bring this tab over, is a paid for use virtual audio cable which allows you to add additional cables. Uh, basically you only need one cable, one in and one out. If you're running multiple VRXs within SDR Uno and you want to pipe certain VRXs to certain decoders, then I recommend you use the paid for edition of virtual audio cable. If you're just using a single instance of SDR Uno with a single VRX, the free edition is just fine. All right, now that we have that out of the way, let's show you how to set this up in SDR Uno. After you install the virtual audio cable, I highly recommend that you reboot the computer. I'll assume that you already have it installed, you rebooted the computer. Let's just actually relaunch SDR Uno and get that up on the screen and we'll pull up a decoder. I'll pick one in a second. Let's launch SDR Uno first. go to the RX control panel before you even click play. Go straight to the RX control panel, click the settings button, go to the out tab and select your virtual audio cable. So I have three options here. My Steinberg, which is my primary uh, sound card, the Hi-Fi virtual audio cable or the VAC cable. So I'll select the Hi-Fi cable and click play. Now if I unmute this, you shouldn't hear anything because I did not select to repipe the audio to my primary sound card, so let's go ahead and unmute that. Let's, uh, let's see, what can we decode? Let's go to, I guess we can try some FT8 or some FT4. So I'll go to my amateur radio bank. I'll scroll down a bit. 
Let's go to FT8 on 20 meters. We should have tons of activity there, which we do. I'm going to minimize SDR Uno, go into my decoders. Let's select WSJTX. Slide this over a bit. And let's get SDR Uno back in the foreground. Okay, in WSJTX, we have to go to File, Settings, slide this over, Audio, and the Input. I'm going to select the VB Cable Hi-Fi and click OK. Let's bring their spectrum into view and let's give this a moment and see if we're decoding any signals. That's a little bit hot on the input, but it should, it, it should still be fine for the decode. And let's make sure we're in the right mode. And then after this decodes, I'll select the other cable, virtual audio cable, and we'll try a different decoding application using that cable and that decodes just fine. Alright, so let's close that out. Let's click Stop. Let's select the virtual audio cable. X that out. Click Play. Let's go back into WSJTX. We're not going to see anything because that cable is not selected. Well, actually not that cable, that uh, outputting device. Let's go to Settings audio, the input, and select virtual audio cable. Make sure our mode is correct. Give it a moment to decode. And then we'll demonstrate uh, before closing out this video how to monitor the audio of the cable. We'll let this decode for one second. Okay, that worked. Let's go over to our control panel. Let's go to sound. Let's go to recording. Virtual audio cable. Listen. Let me select my Steinberg and listen and apply. And that's basically it. That's, uh, that's how you set up virtual audio cable with SDR Uno and decoders. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. 73.